Reaction number five. Uh, we were talking about when we added ammonia to this alkyl halide, we were talking that apart from one degree amine, there will be two degree, three degree and the ammonium salt as well. So we can, we can although get higher percentage of one degree amine if we put ammonia in excess, but there will be a mixture of one degree, two degree and three degree. So we now are going to study a reaction that will give us one degree amine. This is thalamide. Because this is thalic acid. When you prepare a amide of this thalic acid, a cyclic amide results because they are two carboxylic acid and you get a thalamide. What you do is you add ammonia and you heat it. So a amide will be formed on one of the carboxylic acid like this. And because you are heating it, so the water molecule will again come out of, uh, of I mean, if you form a amide with another acid as well, and again if you heat it, then water molecule will come out from here. And you are going to get a cyclic amide, like this. Fine? So this is thalamide. From thalic acid, the amide that you're getting is thalamide. So if you start with thalamide and you add a base to this, if you add NaOH to this, so a simple acid-base reaction is going to happen. Base abstract H plus that we know. And the H plus that is capable of being abstracted is the one which is attached to more electronegative atom. This is nitrogen. There are other hydrogen on each carbon in the ring, but they are not acidic hydrogen. We had this discussion many times before. So base is going to abstract this hydrogen. So you are going to get an anion like this. Now at this stage, if you are adding an alkyl halide, now that alkyl halide has to be a one degree alkyl halide. Because if that's not a one degree alkyl halide, this SN2 reaction will not be possible. With two degree alkyl halide, the reaction would be there, but the rate of reaction will decrease. And with three degree alkyl halide, it is not possible. Now this N minus is acting as a nucleophile and it is attacking R from backside. So from the front, this leaving group will come out. So because it's a substitution via SN2, the degree of carbon preferably be one. So it will be preferably a one degree alkyl halide. So when the SN2 reaction is over, you get this. Fine. Now, uh, if you remember, we have studied hydrolysis of amide before in the chapter of carbonyl compound. Suppose this is a ester. The hydrolysis of ester you have studied in class 10th. That was the reaction called saponification. Now when you hydrolyze this and the hydrolysis occurs, if you're having an acid catalyzed hydrolysis that will occur in protonated water H plus H2O. When you hydrolyze this, this part goes into alcohol, this part comes in acid. You know that? Similarly, if you're taking amide, now this part will come out as amine and this part will come out as carboxylic acid. That's how you do it. Fine. Now this is also a amide. Look at it. This C double bond o, when you hydrolyze this, this part is going to go out as carboxylic acid and this part is going to come out as amine. So again, if you break this bond, this will again form a amide from this side. So again, if you break this bond as well, this part is also going to come out as carboxylic acid and this section is going to come out as amine. Fine. And because the system is basic, because you added base into the system before adding this Rx, or if you are adding a base again, or this time if you can also add, carry out a acid catalyzed hydrolysis. 
So if you're adding an acid or if you're adding a base, whatever it is, now this will come out. If you're adding a, if you're carrying out an acid catalyzed hydrolysis, this will be neutral phthalic acid. If you're carrying out a base catalyzed, then these H plus will not remain on the acid because the system would be basic. These will be in the form of carboxylate ion. Otherwise, suppose if you are carrying out acid catalyzed hydrolysis, this is phthalic acid and we are going to get this one degree amine. Fine. So the name of this reaction is Gabriel thalamide synthesis. You should know this name because they can ask for this name. It's an important reaction. It's Gabriel thalamide synthesis and that's how you synthesize this one degree amine. All right. All right then. Suppose I'm sorry. On this thalamide, I added a base and then I added chloroethane. Suppose this excess chlorine or in general I added any haloethane, I got A. Fine. Uh, no, I didn't get A yet. After that, I carried out hydrolysis. So I got A and I got B. B is a acid. Fine. Now on this A, I can get this A by I can get this A from C if I add some C this 10 and HCl. Then can you quickly identify A, B and C? Let me increase the chain a little bit. I can get this A also. If I carry out hydrogenation of D and I got D when I added KCN on E, right? So identify A, B, C, D and E. So it's easy the reaction that we have, th this reaction, this conversion involved very recent reaction that we have studied in this chapter. This is a Gabriel thalamide synthesis A and B. B is an acid. So B is a thalic acid that you are going to get after hydrolysis and A is going to be ethanamine. So there's no problem in identifying that A is a ethanamine because it's the last reaction that we studied. Now A we can also get from C. C is reduction. On reduction you are getting amine. Now whose reduction should you do? We have studied that on reducing nitro compound you get amine. So C must be nitroethane. Fine. B is thalic acid. And on hydrogenation of D, you are getting A. Now, if you do hydrogenation on C, then also you can get A. So that D can have a nitro compound because hydrogenation of nitro compound results in amine. But if you see the whole chain, D you are getting by adding KCN. So on adding KCN, if you are getting D, then D cannot have nitro compound. So D must have a cyanide. So that's the hint. So D must be methyl cyanide. Because if you hydrogenate this methyl cyanide, you are going to get ethanamine. So D is methyl cyanide and E will be, of course, a halomethane, chloromethane, bromomethane or iodomethane. X minus will come out and cyanide will get in. So that's pretty simple.